Hello, and welcome back for part 78 of my Creeping Death Let's Play campaign. At the end of the last part, we took Camperbad with Bogrub's army here. And I noticed just now, we actually, despite looting it, took it at tier 3, which is fantastic. So I'll handle uh, buildings and stuff at the end of the turn, but very nice to get walls straight away, even though they are... Oh, they're actually not too much damage, it's just the symbol. Yeah, wall strength 96%. So that was good. I wish I knew how that worked, whether it was just like a 50-50 for whether you knocked it down a tier or stays the same tier when you're looting. It feels like it's maybe less frequently than 50-50 chance, but uh, yeah, not sure. Okay, so, may be able to move on Altdorf in the coming turns. But for right now, now Sly Beard Burner is going to take on... Karaknorn. So, they've recruited some troops here, but it's kind of nothing. This Lord's low rank, not too dangerous. And the garrison... Yeah, they have a bunch of stuff here. They do have a Orc Shaman, they have a bunch of Night Gobbos, but honestly this stuff is not going to be able to withstand our assault. Despite the odds being even. Let's see, we have an armor-piercing banner. Let's take that off those spider riders and stick it onto... Um, maybe just one of those melee gobbos who's going to go over the walls. So yeah, we can see they've got one, two, three, four missile units. This garrison's really not particularly good. Like, melee attack, melee defense, 29, 24, and those night goblins. We're at 45, 37. And that's without gold chef and experience or anything. Okay, they do have three units of trolls. I'm not too concerned about those. Uh, yeah. How much, or which magic does this guy know? No, oh, he does know Brain Burster. That's going to be a little annoying against our boys, I guess, but... Should be fine here. Usual strategy of just walking up to the walls, firing over the archers, and... Going up the ladders. And Sly Beard Burner himself can just smash through this gate on the left-hand side, I think. Yeah. Game actually deployed us where I want to be. That's good. Plenty of magic. Goblins! So let's try and avoid being shot by... Well, we can definitely try and avoid being shot by this tower. I think if I deploy, like... This... We won't even be shot very much by this tower, which is good. I'm okay if uh, if Sly Beard Burning gets shot by that one a bit. So a Soldier Stone, I do have Arcane Conduit to get all the spells, that's great. Yeah, Melee Spider Rider is not going to be too useful. Let's get you lot up here. You smash in the gate. And everyone behind, like this, maybe. Or probably this is better. Yeah. Alright, they do have some archers up on the walls. Yeah, we're just going to take missile fire. Um, right, lots of their units are stalking. That's why we can't see them. Fair enough. No great target for spells here. Oh, well. I mean, this is so cheap. I may as well drop it down. Yep, knocking down the gates. Do we want to just go up the ladders? I think so. They've more or less just got archers up on the walls, as far as I can tell. <laughs> I love how there's just like a big hole left by that unit for no discernible reason. Just leave these two units. Uh, actually, you know, you you wait. You're a bit damaged. You can just stand over here, and you can just stand over here as well. Forty-six kills with that first cast. Not bad. Oh, we're gonna slaughter the gobbers with uh, with uh, a sort of stone once we go over the walls. Yeah, we also just snipe down this guy. That's good. Oh, so that was a brain burster. Yeah, not much you can do to avoid that. It did a lot of damage, but didn't actually kill many of our entities. 
Let's just pull this unit back, see if we can avoid them getting hit by another one of those. You move in a little bit. Um, are we ready to charge in? No, I don't want to charge in just yet. Let's let the boys get up the ladders. They've kind of abandoned the walls. Our archer's going to move forward and then... Yeah, shred whatever, whatever's left up on the walls, I think. The boys on the howder of the spider can just launch missiles into the poor guys in front. That was fine. It'd be really nice if we could hit some of these units over the wall. Yeah. They're trying to do that. I'm not sure the... Yeah, I'm not sure the uh, fire arc is quite right. Okay, how about over here? Yeah, let's just be a little patient. Soften them up as much as possible with missile fire. Actually taking very little damage so far. Ah, oh, we are getting shot now by these ones. Yeah, even that's not too dangerous. It'd be great if we could kill this shaman. He's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna be dropping more magic if he has magic points. Can we, can we see him? No, I guess not. Alright. Okay. Let's go ahead and send... Oops, that was not what I meant to click on. I think let's go ahead and send... Uh, Live Beer Burner into, into combat here. They don't have any units that are going to be particularly good at fighting against him. Part of the reason I'm doing this. Where are you, buddy? Come on, get in here. Oh, that's that's not my unit. Okay, interesting. Oh, we're still trying to climb up the wall there. I see. Okay. Alright, so we are in melee here, although they haven't really... Oh, now they're, now they're coming in. Good, good, good. Getting ready to try and drop down a... Uh, sort of stone, if they clump up. Alright, we are shooting their shaman here as well, that's good. Yeah, he's going to die very quickly if we can concentrate missile fire on him. I think they're using buff spells of some sort, maybe. Not completely sure. Alright, so I guess we've sort of come off the walls here a little bit. Uh, that's not what I wanted. You guys get back up there. Missile fire over the walls. Yeah, we've broken the shaman, that's good. Missile fire over the walls is definitely doing some damage. We haven't taken much damage at all on our lord. Yeah, still can be a bit patient here, I think. Feels like... I can't tell who's, whether these are my goblins or theirs, but that's alright. Wanted to get a bigger clump of stuff for the uh, Assault of Stone. I guess here, if these lot are coming in... If this lot's coming in... Yeah, this is probably going to be about as, as good as we can get. Let's get that deep down as well. Ah, uh, they moved out of the way. Well, whatever. These ones didn't. RIP. Alright, yeah, we also have these trolls. Would not be bad to do a bit of damage to them. I think, though, I think the enemy is sufficiently kind of scattered around here that we can just have our, certainly our healthier troops come off the walls. Yeah, definitely try and write that shaman again. Taking a bit of damage on our lord now, that's alright. He's done lots of damage. Get this down. Victory's in our grasp. Alright. Yeah. I think they're not going to be able to put up too much more of a fight. And. Uh, okay. Just wrecked a bunch of our own dudes with that spell. That's. Well, easy come, easy go for the gobbos, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Oh, actually out of magic. Okay. 
you know, they're routed. Too bad we couldn't do a bit more arch fire of the wall, but this honestly worked out fine. Yeah, we need to kill these trolls. Ah, oh, the missile fire through the gates, slaughtering them, or doing the damage anyway. Very good. Got some more stuff coming in this way. Yeah, I think they're going to give up pretty soon. Let's try and take... Not take more damage on uh, Sly Beard Burner. Alright, you can come in here. And you as well. So we really didn't get any units nuked too badly, at least in terms of casualties with their magic. That was really lucky. We are dead out of magic ourselves. That's alright, I guess. And, <clears throat> yeah, let's get archers into the settlement, just in case we have to deal with a few more units. Yeah, they've got some full health trolls here as well. Yeah, we don't want to get too spread out here. Alright, I think my melee dudes can deal with their units over here relatively easily. We're just straight up not getting more magic though, huh? What are these archers doing? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Thought I was telling them to go through the gate, but I guess I wasn't. Alright, let's just ignore those gobblers and, and try and get to these trolls. I think they're the dangerous ones. Let these ones sort out these night goblins. Yeah. Alright, well this unit came through, that's good. So you can break those those archers there. Yeah, you as well. Alright, these ones came up on the wall. Okay, well that works. Yeah, let's break these trolls. They've got one more unit of trolls over here. The trolls are good against our... or We definitely have a hard time against the trolls without just normal melee boys here. Whereas the spider does, does much better. And the trolls have low leadership and a lot of their army has been killed, so... I feel like they shouldn't put up too much of a fight, but we'll see. Barely touch these ones. Uh, this is a this is a bad situation for fighting trolls for sure. So they got the wild bonus as well. Okay, a is going to be able to do this stuff. You can move there. Yeah, take down the chariots. Take down the trolls. Yeah, the tail end of this battle resulted in us taking a bit more damage than we had previously, but alright, that war should see that, I think. Just pull back with those melee troops, let the archers do the job. Alright, they got the army losses and gave up, good. We'll be pretty, uh, pretty close to full strength after one's turn, one turn's replenishment, so yeah, I think that went fine. Not sure if I want to go north or south next. Um, yeah, loot and occupy. And took it at tier 4, that's absolutely fine. So, Karak Asgaraz. Yeah, that's the last settlement of Crooked Moon. But maybe I want to head down here and just finish off these silly Skaven first. Yeah, they've got another stack building up. We know what this is going to be, uh, Storm Vermin. Not, not too dangerous to deal with, but I don't want to just leave them here and have my army move up further away, basically. Um, Karak Norn. Okay, we do get another Beast Layer. Well, those add up, I guess. I'll sort out the buildings at the end of the turn. Looks like there's some stuff here we can demolish. I'm special. Yeah, we're almost... Ah, right. Good old suitable climate. It looks like we're getting basically a full heal. And this guy's getting pretty high rank. Nice. Yeah, let's work on the red line. We've got some gold chevron dudes we can upgrade further. Okay, and that might just about do it in terms of... 
army and hero movement. Let's see. Do I want to force march or force sail with this army? Um. It should be fine. Skaven can't ambush us at sea, and also they just don't have enough troops here anyway. Okay, Nagbad has some movement left, but he's just recuperating in Mount Gumbad, that's fine. I think, let's just go ahead and merge these two and replace. Since those ones didn't really have extra experience anyway. Yeah, we've got this ambush situation with Musk for the next turn. Just see what happens there. We're blocking this Lizman army. Yep, keeping an eye on Chaos. Yeah, we did do all the other movement, I think. Yeah. Alright, research wise. So we finished this line. Um, I guess we need to do either these two, which are really useless, or this, which is useless, and this, which is not useless. That untainted is not bad. Or it would be minor upgrades for some units we're not actually actively recruiting, but it would slightly help our garrison. This would actually add a recruit rank point on um, Spider Rider units as well. I didn't notice that. That's just Orc infantry. That's just Orc boar units. That's just boar units. That's Orc infantry. Yeah, let's go for uh, Untainted plus three. This is, this is somewhat useful to get, but this other stuff is... We've, we've kind of got everything that matters at this point. Okay, did I encounter anybody new? I did. Carrick Zifflin. You dare approach him. They have... Oh, three settlements. Interesting. And they're only fighting Skarsnecks and they're not fighting the anyone in the west. I guess that makes quickly, sense because the undead you... have been cleared out by the looks of it. Uh, what's his name? Heinrich Kemmler. Yeah, so this isn't this is just a fort. You have seconds to live, Orc. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with these dwarves. I don't think they're gonna cause us too much trouble. Alright, let's do settlement stuff. So Zufbar getting to tier four. Sounds great. And Ringo Rakaz I can get straight to tier three. Sure, I mean, we're building up growth relatively quickly. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm optimistic I can I can hold on to this. Well, I can definitely hold on to it while Musk is right there. Okay, and Camperbad. Let's repair everything here. Yeah, a bit expensive, but not too bad. Um, we don't extort income. We don't have any of the other settlements in this province, so public order is going to be a bit of a problem. Talapheim. Yeah, this this um this province always confuses me. So it's Talapheim, Kemperbad, Kappelberg, and Krugenheim. Okay, yeah, they're in like a funny quadrilateral. Well, I guess four things are always in a quadrilateral, but yeah, it's I get mixed up both with which is the major settlement and with like which are part of which region. Anyway, um we could build a public order building here, just for the obedience and untainted. Yeah, I don't hate doing that. Let's do it. I'm, I'm willing to put a bit more gold in here, just because we are getting the walls. Oh, we have the walls already, so it's sort of ready defended. And Carrick Norn. Yeah, I'm going to spend a lot of gold here, but that's fine. We really don't need this. No, oh, we don't need this either. I will repair this though. Um, and this one provides untainted. Yeah, this actually provides a reasonable amount of bonuses. Global recruitment, local recruitment, untainted. Yeah, it's not bad. So we can go for, we want public order. We want defenses. 
And we want this building too, although it's not a super high priority. It would be good to also get growth and money coming in. Um, so do we keep the Raiden stashes? Yeah, it's going to be slightly useful, uh, useful for the extra movement, just locally. So sure, we can we can keep that for the time being. And another settlement which we don't really need to tax. Okay, so now we're just running around all the other settlements. Uh, Miragliano... Yep, I think that upgrade on the defences is worth it. Let's not bother with anything else. I'll pad the public order a little more before putting on the taxes. And yeah, public order here will turn around, but we don't want to tax it yet. Okay, Skaven Blight, you need defenses. And yeah, Skaven Corruption going down for sure, but partly, yeah, partly that is characters. Three from this though, that's good. Um, so maybe nothing else here is a particularly high priority. Yeah, let's just leave it. Um, let's stop taxing. We're not making much money from it anyway. I think the public order was stabilizing, but something could happen that would mess it up, so... For so little gain, it's not really worth the risk. Okay, mum, come bed, everything's fine here. Definitely also looking for regions where I can turn on taxes again. Taxes have been on here for a little while. Yeah, no sign of more public order problems. Still minus eight instability, all right. And yep, defense is going up in the minor settlements. And Black Crag gets to tier five, hooray. So Dork's Rock, obedience plus two faction wide, that's the big one. And then more minor things like Lord Recruit Mank, Global Recruitment, always good. Don't think we have anything to stick here though. Or anything particularly important. Yeah, we don't need the growth building. We don't need that. Um, that one's really not worth getting. We, we already have it anyway, actually. So yeah, let's leave that empty. So this province is in great shape. And we're actually getting... Uh, we don't get an increase in the income from buildings from high public order, but we do get a... F I guess it's just a 5% from some technology. Yeah, fair enough. A lot of the money is coming from this. Oh, this gets a 50% boost. Oh, right. Income from all buildings, 50%. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so far we already did. Krasakarak, we're leaving. Um, yep, I think... Things are fine building-wise here. I'll go through all the settlements and I'll consider if I actually want to recruit more troops. Yeah, public order here needs to sort itself out. It should do, right? This is instability? Yeah. So taxes stay off. Fort Arbestia we may not be able to hold on to, so definitely not doing more building there. Akendorf at tier 5. Um, hmm... I don't think we need any of this other stuff. Yeah, same with Barak Var. I'll do the economy buildings once we're... Once Chaos is being dealt with. I think it's pretty clear that nobody else is going to be dealing with Chaos. Like, Reichland sometimes can, but they're nowhere near strong enough in this campaign. I wouldn't be surprised if we have to fight all six of the Chaos stacks heading down the west of the mountains, and probably most of the ones in the east. Okay, that's... Oh, right, the plague symbol is for Needling, okay. Yeah, really just looking for whether I need upgraded defenses anywhere. I think the answer is no. Oh, let's get this upgraded. Yeah, I'm willing to spend the gold for that. This one? Nah. How do we feel about taxes here? 786. Corruption minus 6. Instability minus 7. 
Um, let's leave it, leave it off for one or two more turns. It's just such a nuisance if we have to go deal with a revolt, as, as has been the case a few times. Yeah, everything's fine here. I think we've more or less... Yeah, I think we've gone through everything now. Okay, can I recruit another big boss? Not yet, alright. I'm checking every turn now because it feels like we have got... We have been taking quite a lot of tier 4 settlements with those upgraded um, public order buildings that open up the extra recruit slots. Yeah, I think... I think we're just going to go ahead and merge these Gobbo units. Yeah. Really isn't too important um, having more units in the war army. I'd rather they be a bit stronger. Okay, anything else to do? Did I get any good loot? I feel like I picked up something. I guess I didn't. Oh yeah, nothing important. Okay. Oh yeah, I was going to look at whether I want to actually recruit more another army or another lord at least temporarily. We're going to get attacked by these two armies. They may just immediately assault somewhere. Um, Temple half, I don't think they'll assault. No, I don't think they'll assault immediately. Fort Arbustire. These troops are very weak. I'm special. No. How do I feel about force marching a bit further with Stitch Up? It's probably not a great idea. But I can't attack this next turn if they if they do take it. Oh, let's do... Oh, right. I've got the wrong... Yeah, that's right. I recruited two extra archers by accident when I meant to recruit two extra melee troops. Let's fix that right now. Yeah, more melee frontline going up against vampire counts is not a bad thing, I think. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't feel like we need to do... Oh, that's just telling me what I took, okay. I don't think we need to do more recruitment immediately. We still have a bunch of turns before the Chaos Armies are down here. Okay, let's go to the next turn. Uh-oh. That is not somebody I wanted to see. Kropka, are you attacking? Looks like you are. Okay, well, stand and fight. They got up to 16 units. I see they added a Feral Bastilladon. Yeah, so a bit of a problematic army. We've got Kropka himself, who's dangerous, but at least he's big and an easy target. Um, yeah, it'd be great to sp split their troops up to deal with some of their faster moving dangerous dinos sooner. We just have a lot of targets, like quite high priority targets we need to shoot. We're probably not going to be concentrating missile fire too much on their Sauruses. Yeah, they're going to do a number on our front line. Sacred Croxagors. These are both problematic as well. Alright, let's see how we go. At least we're being an underway map battle. Yeah, we've got a reasonable amount of backward-forward space to work with. And I do have the spider spawning. Yeah, the spider spawning to just buy even a few seconds against the big dinos seems really powerful. For both Rachnik and the Arachnorok Queen. Okay, and one thing, the Lisman... Yeah, they've got sort of two artillery style dinos, but they do not have like skink skirmishers. Maybe they had one unit of pterodons, but yeah, they don't have much in the way of other missile stuff. I'm just going to deploy spread out like this. We might have to change that deployment. Um, you start back here. I don't really want you getting shot by the ancient salamander, I think, so you can stay back here as well. So I know they're going to come towards me. I have to be a bit careful with Rachnik here, but I want to get some magic down on them. Yeah, they do have Pterodons. Okay. Pterodons are a pretty good target for magic missiles, I think. 
Oh, Dreadsaurian. Yeah, that was a big old dino. But speed-wise, yeah, Krokgar... Yeah, Krokgar's gonna be the, the problem. I can slow him down with, uh, with this, I just need to make sure I cast it in time. I'm gonna try and just get their attention by attacking them a bit though, I don't care too much how much damage it's doing. We can actually cast that, that'd be good. Well, they're casting stuff at us. Oh, they have feral cold ones. Right, I completely forgot about that. We've dealt with them easily though. Yeah, they get a few uses of that, I believe. Okay, getting shot by the ancient salamander, that's that's fine. Let's see, they're, they're being pretty slow here. Let's see if we can drop the Temple Guard. Or we'll drop this on top of the Temple Guard. It's not really going to do too much damage to them. No, and they're, they're being cautious here, which is unfortunate. Well, if they're going to do this, maybe I should just hit them with more magic. This flank doesn't look too bad. We've got our... Ragnarok Queen and Spider Riders. I think our left flank is going to struggle. The Dread Saurian... Yeah, it doesn't have bonus versus large, it just has enormous weapon strength, period. Kotgar's holding back. Yeah, I have a bad feeling they're going to sort of hit our lines of everything at once, which is going to be an issue. We're definitely going to have to make good use of this to slow down bits of their army. If I can deal more damage, though, to these ones... Even just shooting them a tiny bit from the howder. All right, now I've got their. Now they seem to be waking up a bit more. Maybe. Right, we've got the cold ones. We've got three units of cold ones. Do we have? I think our flanks are in decent shape. I'm gonna switch. Oh no, they're sort of redeploying here, aren't they? It's gonna switch my spider riders over to the other flank. I think I can just have them get forward and do at least a tiny bit of harassment. So another magic missile of Krokgar is used on our Lord. Um, yeah, I think I'm okay with this. What's he dropping down on us here? He's summoned more feral cold ones. That's fine. We probably need to withdraw all the way back. And we also... Crap. Uh, wrong button. Need to get this down. Yep, did not mean for my lord to get caught by all these units, at least. Oh, I did not mean for you to get caught either. Get out of there. Yeah, lots of damage on Rachnik, unfortunately. Just get those down. Yeah. I'm fine with my spider riders still shooting, but... Oh, that's Krokgar himself. Yeah, we have to we have to focus fire on him a little bit. It's not good that he pushed all the way through that unit. Okay, still need to get other debuffs and stuff down here. Yeah, definitely debuff there. Oh, we're not looking too horrible on this flank. Let's have you come around. Melee debuff here, probably useful. Um... Oh, that's just spiders routing, who cares? Yeah. We need more spiders over here. Oh, God, that was making a bit of a mess of us. He's not, I don't know, he's not killing too, too many. Yeah, you just hold those Sora spears. Oh, I had a, a unit just, uh, had a unit just straight up route over here. Yeah, needed a better formation, I think, on my archers here. We're just being bypassed by the dinos, so spread out. Yeah, we need more help here. I definitely underestimated them in the middle. They're absolutely slaughtering us. All right, more feral those dudes, that does not help. So we're taking down the dinos kind of slowly though. 
Arachnox spider's doing fine. Um, can we summon more spiderlings here? Yes, we can. And that thing's rampaging. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, it, it's going down. It's going down. Oh, melee frontline just... A lot of our melee units just actually panic from the terror. That's, that's not good. Uh... Alright, you get out of combat with this. Does someone rally back here? No. I think we're still I think we're still kind of doing okay here, but it's a bit dodgy for sure. Alright, oh, Dreadsorian down. Raid boss down. Good. Let's focus fire on some of the stuff in here. The leadership's not great. Yeah, I've done a decent amount of damage to them. How about Krokgar? Looks like he's pretty low. Yes, good, okay. Nice, alright, yeah. Sh just focus firing Krokgar did kind of work. Caught on Spear Riders. Feral st oh, a Feral Stegodon. Yuck. Yeah, we need a different formation for this. I should have gone for a deeper formation with more than two lines. I think we're winning, it's just... Yeah, it's just rough. Um, Ancient Salamander... Sure, let's just try and bring it down quickly. Oh no, maybe... Yeah, just too many targets I want to shoot. There's only one Sacred Crot score left there, that's not too bad. I think they're pretty close to the army losses here. Someone's rallying. No, oh, there's not much left. Yeah, it looks like they're close to the army losses. Yeah, now of course, there's also the issue that we need to try and run down some of these units so we don't have to fight them again. Alright, that's good enough. We didn't have too much wiped out, I don't think. Yeah, let's kill... Kill whichever the biggest dino of the big dinos you possibly can. Not you though, because you're just going to get shot too much. Yeah, get the movement debuff so we can try and catch them. Almost lost all my spider riders, that's too bad. Did we wound Krokgar? Not sure. Yeah, we should be able to catch their... Saurus Spears. The Ragnarok Queen did pretty well. She... I'm not sure how much of the damage she was tanking from Krokgar, but... but yeah, she, she did fine. I think one of the big issues we had is their, their massive units, like the, um, the Dread Saurian. Um, hitting, like, charging into our infantry, but ending up in melee with our archers. And that was just totally down to me, as I said, not using a deep enough formation. Alright, I want to catch this thing. Whichever one it is. The thing is, yeah, we can slow it down and, and shoot it. That's about all we can do. Alright, you get on and try and take out these ones. You summon more spiders. Alright, that, that, yeah, let the archers just, just finish them off. I'm just shooting my own guys a little bit there. Yeah, you get them. I'm not going to worry about this stuff. We did kill the vast majority of their army, even though we're not finishing off all the big dinos. We got the, we got the Dreadsaurian, I think we got the Stegodon, yeah. And if Krokgar survived, he's very low health and must have just shattered and run off the, the battlefield, so. So yeah, good enough. That one's gone. That one's going to be close to gone. Okay. Yeah, almost half of our army by, or over half of our army by, by numbers taken out there. The melee frontline did do the do the do the job. At least some of them. Some of them routed a little embarrassingly fast. Because the archers were doing, yeah, the archers were mostly able to keep shooting. But I, I think, yeah, more separation between the frontline and the archers against next time we go up against lizardmen. Ugh, lots of kills on, oh, lots of kills on a lot of their units actually. Jeez. At least this dreadsaurian's gone. Max experience. 
1% replenishment doesn't seem very exciting. So let's see, what do they have left here? Not very much. Both these, that's too bad. And nothing on our side got wiped out. Yeah. It's not much replenishment. We're going to replenish over the end turn. And we'll definitely have enough movement to follow up and kill him. I think I'll take the gold. And he gains Saurus Smiter, which is actually a really nice trait. Melee defense on the Ragnarok Spiders is, is a big deal. Yeah, I don't remember that trait being as good as, as plus 10. That's, that's excellent. What are our Skaven friends up this way doing? Earthquake against Vertbad. Ouch. Oh no! I thought I blocked that army. Man. I guess I didn't block it by enough. Well, we can't hold this. Yeah, we actually we just straight up don't get the walls. Can I try and take out any of their artillery? This looks pretty hopeless. I will try, though. Yeah, I did not expect this. I I looked at the um, the movement that this army had left after I... Oh, I do have walls. Okay, that's... Well, that's good. Okay, I, it just... Yeah. I don't know. I got confused there. They did damage the walls of the earthquake, but not to the extent that we just fight a normal battle. I thought that he could get to the city on Force March movement, but I kind of judged that he wouldn't be able to attack, because otherwise I could have just left my army. Uh, I could have just left my army in here rather than moving further east after the vampires. Yeah, I definitely should have stopped and tried to deal with this army. Oh well, we're not going to win this, but can we actually do some damage to their artillery stuff here? I'm not optimistic, but... Yeah, we can try. I'll send the spiders, well, it's not even out through the gate, it's out through the hole in the wall. <laughs> yeah, let's get all the towers active that we possibly can. I think you should be able to get both those towers shooting. We want this tower to do some shooting. Yeah, so like I said, I'm, I'm resigned to losing this. I'm just going to try and do some damage to them. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, oh well. Yeah, where are you? Back here. Okay, you probably need it there. So, okay, let's start the battle. You come out here. And I want, yeah, focus on play core catapults. Oh, we could... Yeah, maybe shoot the same unit. Not quite, okay. I think we're gonna have to run all the way around. Yeah. Just run all the way around. Right, you don't need to be on that tower. Come over here. Yeah, the gate's getting smashed up, that's fine. Yeah. Keep shooting, keep shooting those play core catapults. We're not going to do significant damage to their other units in this battle. Or, we're going to do a little damage to their clan rats, but whatever. It's their stuff I need to get at. I'm not dealing... I'm actually killing the gate. I mean, that does, that does make sense, of course, but... It's kind of good for us that they're doing that, rather than... Um, rather than aiming for the units here and, and breaking our army faster. Alright, so, yeah, the hero got up on the wall there. Uh, what? He got up on the wall and then just died. Um, okay, we won't uh, ask too many questions about that one, I think. I did not expect that to happen. That was just a complete random glitch. Okay, so we have a 
Maybe we can actually do some damage here to the play claws. I really need to kill enough of them to wipe out a unit, though. That's going to be difficult. Okay. I think you're going to have to come off the walls and then shoot at these storm. Well, maybe you can just shoot the storm vermin from where you are. Yeah, that can't hit anything that important. You go fight these ones. Um. Okay. You turn around and shoot those warp fire throwers. And we don't need both these units up here, so you come off and fight them. Alright, well, honestly, this is going better than I thought it would. We're going to take off... We're well, going to actually take out a decent fraction of their artillery. Okay, they've got clanets coming in there, that's not good. Make sure that tower... yeah. No, you're gonna have to just... I don't know, you're gonna have to fight and die at some point. Okay. Yeah. I guess there's some argument for trying to charge up a war. Uh, we're not gonna kill these units though, are we? Yeah. Night runners. Alright, honestly we did more damage than I thought we would to their artillery, which is what I care about. I don't care too much about their infantry. Really funny that the Lord died too. That actually helps us um, less in the sense that they can just recruit a new one. Oh, can I do something about this unit? Hopefully. Who are you fighting? Fighting a hero or something. Alright, there's a bunch of them in the middle. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Yeah, we're obviously gonna lose here. I wish these archers would turn around. Ah, I hate these silly walls. The, the way that the troop facing works on the walls in this game just kind of infuriates me. This whole nonsense of like, oh, you can only shoot from the one side, and yeah. Now, at least it's not, I mean, it's not messing us up in a battle where it matters, so whatever. Okay, you come in and maybe these ones. I thought I told you to get off the wall as well. I think that's the problem, it's like you need to give one command to give off, get off the wall, and then you need to give a second command. At least you're facing the right way now. Let's see, is any of this worth, sh worth shooting at? Warp fire throwers, sure. Yeah. No, it's going to be too late. Well, I'll have the option of coming here and fighting this army. They'll probably get a bunch of troops from the garrison to join. But I have the option of fighting them. We'll have to just see what Sylvania does. I think I might lose local recruitment now as well. I really did not anticipate. Well, that, I, yeah, okay. What I should have done... What I should have done is actually use, um... Global recruitment with the army I headed to the east, just in case something like this happened. It was just not on my radar that they would do this. I'm surprised we haven't got the army losses yet. We haven't done that much damage to them, honestly. Not in the scheme of things. Yeah, we're, we're getting the army losses. Okay. At least the towers. Yeah, towers did about what I could ask for. Oh, these ones aren't even shooting. Are they? Not really. Alright. I don't think we're achieving much more here. I guess they might not even uh, occupy the, the settlement. Alright, so we did... Hmm, yeah, this guy died, but that was just a random bug. He got up to the wall at full health and then just like... The enemy lord is dead. So a little bit of damage to the warp fire throwers, a little bit of damage to these units. So the order resolve would have just done a little, like, few casualties on the storm vermin and clan rats, which really don't matter. So this was better than the order resolve. Still a bit of a pain dealing with these units though. They might merge them. 
Yeah, they just raised that. That's really unfortunate. Ah. Flipping Skaven. Don't mess with me! What's your message? Alright, no peace with you. That's still recruiting. I wonder if I can actually get to Altdorf. Hmm. Yeah, Sylvania's turn is the big one, I think. Am I going to lose more territory immediately? Yeah, answers point. Answers points to or signs point to yes. Oh right, they can come for the moot. Man. Oh, and I was upgrading the moot defenses as well. Yeah, it totally wasn't on my radar that they would do this. Alright, we're going to need another army over here. Not that the moot is that valuable, but Vertbed was kind of valuable. And we're stretched a little thin with Bogrub going after Aldorf. Alright, can I do anything here? I mean, these units are not great. Neither of these units. Um... Sure, I feel like I should try and fight this manually. Yeah, the AI never takes Wind of Death on their vampire lords, which obviously they should. I think I just corner camp this. Wouldn't, yeah, I don't think we're going to win. The terror from their, their stuff is just going to be too much for us, I think. I'll, I'll have my wolf riders just give as much of their army as, as I can, like a run around, because we should be faster, or we might not be faster than the mounted wraiths, actually. Let's see. 94, 97. Alright, technically we are faster. Yeah, let's just find a corner. Let's do this one. Sort that battle line out a little bit. Yeah, uh, I guess we can't really take on the bar ghosts. I'm not sure the wolf fighter's gonna get anything done here, but I'll make some attempt. That positioning's actually fine. Distract some of their units temporarily. That's all I want. How fast are you? 92. Alright, so even though they're flying, we actually do outrun them. Although, you know, bringing these ones in and shooting them first. This is good. This is exactly what I wanted. Some stuff moving around. Um, yeah, let's go for a bit of a deeper line. Yeah, we distracted one unit of Crypt Ghouls. Ghost himself is at the back. I uh, don't know how we're going to take on that Mortis engine. I think we're not, is the answer, but yeah. Yeah, if we can shoot the Var guys, that'll be great. Uh, he should not be on Skirmish. Let's just have you stop right here. You can get him, try and distract those zombies. Oh, they saw what was going on. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, I think there weren't really units in their army we could really pick off with the cavalry here, unfortunately. If you get close to him, we're just going to start taking damage from his... Uh, I think he has a damaging aura. Oh, it's only active if he's in melee, okay.
yeah, I think what I'll do is recruit a new army out of... I'll recruit a new army at... Um, Drakenhoff. Oh, man, what am I doing? Not paying enough attention is the answer. Well, that unit's gone. Yeah. I thought this unit backed off completely and I just zoned out. Rip. So we can shoot them, but this was not what I wanted to happen. Oh, they're, they're actually... Yeah, we are doing damage to them, but that... The Wolf Rider's just gone off the battlefield. Oh, they have some crossbow in here. Oh, we should try and run into them, actually. Yeah, let's get around. We've got to be able to beat them in melee, right? Yes. Alright, so the Vargolfs did come in. Yeah, let's just route them real quick. Or crumble them, whatever. Good. Alright, we can wraiths. Oh, well, that's sort of isolated though. Concentrate missile fire. Yeah, you come up here. Yeah. Hit those crossbowmen. Uh, sadly, the physical resistance on the wraiths is, is just difficult to overcome. Yeah, we're not doing too much to them. They put a bunch of their army chasing our wolf riders though, that worked at least. Can't really commit this unit because the rest of their army is too close. Yeah. I mean, we will beat this lot, it's just... Not before the rubber stuff turns up. Well, this is good, though. We'll be able to kill those Sylvania crossbowmen relatively easily, get into the back of these crypt ghouls. Are they anti-infantry? No, but they have the poison. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you focus on that unit. We might actually be able to hold this initial assault, looking at it. One thing that's going to be important is as soon as this unit's disintegrated, I need to focus on... and which they have. Okay. Focus on... One more... one enemy unit at a time. Yeah, this one should break pretty quickly. Oh, that's good. Oh, their Black Knights come around and protect their... Uh, protect their crossbowmen. Okay, well, that's not good for us. Dealing with those Crypt Ghouls, uh, these ones are pretty much gone as well. Okay. Yeah, get into them. I don't think it's worth trying to... Uh, trying to target the Black Knights at this point. Oh, I've got Crypt Ghouls breaking through here and here. Alright, well, rip. Too much else we can do, I think. Yeah, could have obviously managed a bit better with the Wolf Riders, but I think the riding was on the wall from the beginning. Yeah, too bad I didn't get walls up in the moot before this attack. But yeah, like I said, it was not. I was not even considering that they'd moved to the south instead of just attacking Fort Abastaya. Uh, well, two steps forward, one step back. We'd gone for a long time without losing territory or even having it besieged. Um, or having too many sieges. But we definitely have a bit of a, a bit of a hole right in about the region where the Chaos Army is also hitting, and that is a problem. Okay, three units wiped out on their side. Alright. They just occupied the moot. Okay, Fort Abasthaya... Is coming into attack by Manford, so we do have the walls here, which I guess we should use again. Man, we're so low though. This is because of the silly plague. All right, I think I'm going to fight this battle at the start of the next part. I'm just a little tired of losing, <laughs> and we're almost certainly losing this as well. Yeah, I think my troops in the north just can't be in. I need like three. I need someone to kill the Skaven, someone to go after Gorst, and someone to come after Manfred, and I don't have enough armies. So, alright, lesson learned. 
recruit more boys. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and see you in the next one.